So my truck is stuck in four wheel drive. One day I just went out to go use it. It was in two wheel drive. I get in, it's blinking four wheel drive. I switch it to four wheel drive. All is good. I switch it back to two wheel drive and it just blinks the four wheel drive for a few minutes. Like it's gonna shift, doesn't. And then it gives me the, I forget if it's three or four blinks of four wheel drive while I'm driving down the road. And it's, you know, which is service four wheel drive. This unfortunately has happened more than a few times since I've owned this truck and I didn't buy it new so that goes to show you but uh, every time so far it has been fixed by replacing this this is the electronic motor that actuates the transfer case um, I'm not sure why we ever went away from the manual linkage and went to a switch with an electric motor under the vehicle but we're not gonna go there today we're just gonna get the truck back shifting into two-wheel drive like it's supposed to Okay, so right on your driver's side here, we have the transfer case, the front drive shaft going up. And right behind that, this right here is the motor we're gonna be replacing. This is what shifts your transfer case from four wheel high, four wheel low, and all that. Now in order to install the new one, it's already indexed for four wheel high, so you have to be in four wheel high. In this case, I'm stuck in four wheel high, so that works out perfect. So we're just gonna take this off and replace it with the new one. So this was indexed just a little bit off from four-wheel drive high, even though it was riding in four-wheel drive, it wouldn't line up. So the instructions that came with the motor said to put a crescent wrench on it. Now I found the 14 millimeter worked best, and you put it on that, that one notch that's on there, and I was able to give it one turn to the correct position now. So now the new transfer case should go on no problem. So that's it, we're back in two wheel drive. We got it working again. It's just another one of those failed motors. I don't know why these things keep failing, but they're not too expensive luckily. So we're back on the road. Until next time, have a good one guys.